Good morning, friends. How are you? Oh, that may sing when they are rich. Good morning, my friends. How are you? But we sing it in Espanol. See? All right, amigos. Here we go. Una, dos, tres, de dos, cuatro, cinco, seis, de dos, siete, ocho, no way, may, de dos, diez, de dos, so. school is a Quaker school. We believe in the Quaker testimonies and the school teaches to the Quaker testimonies, which is this great acronym, SPICES. Simplicity, peace, integrity, community, equality, and stewardship. Those guiding philosophies direct us in everything that we do from our smallest children to our oldest students. It's all about teaching them at the end of the day to be really great people. You know, we foster that level of learning right at the very beginning of their academic experience. It's the goal of our cottage program to meet every child where they're at. And we want to foster a love of learning that starts right off the bat. The way you do that is by figuring out what are the kids passionate about. If you are in music class, give me a twist. If you are in music class, give me a twist. We do a lot of hands-on learning in our cottage program. We believe in learning through all of our senses. If the children are in charge of their learning, we as teachers are guides. It's small by design. What I mean by that, it has small classrooms. So each child gets individual attention to make them succeed. The environment here is very peaceful. The teachers are very loving and understanding. Finger on your nose if you've ever had broccoli. Look under, look under Riley's hand. She look. has two. Look. Like I always tell my parents, don't put them in anything nice because we never know what our day is going to look like. Working in public school for as long as I did, you don't see that. They don't get to go outside and learn outside and just get messy and dirty. We have school buddy program with the upper school and middle school students and create relationships through our students on the whole campus and not just within the classroom. We get together every Friday and the students get to do an activity or project together. Sometimes they're a community service project. Other times we invite them to join us to do something fun that we're already working on. going to cross bridges with people that are different ages than you and different ethnicities and different cultural backgrounds. We have a beautiful blend here at Friends and that's what makes a true family and makes us fully united as a community. It was important that we sent our children somewhere that we knew would be really inclusive and accepting of diversity and the Quaker philosophy that they have, we knew that they would be in good hands. From day one, they knew my daughter's name. They know my son who doesn't even go here. They greet them every morning with a handshake and a smile, and she's excited to come. She has a best friend in her class. It's been a fantastic thing to see her have the experience of being away from mom and dad, but still feeling like she's at home. I grew up knowing about the Friends School. As a child, I actually wanted to come here. It just seemed like it was just the school where you, as a kid, would dream of going. It was like this far-fetched place, hidden in the woods in Virginia Beach. I remember going to this Quaker meeting when I was five years old. The benches were so high for me as a little person that my feet wouldn't touch the floor. You know, that idea of meeting for worship was really important because it allows us to connect with our students on a whole other level. What Quakers believe is that there's a light in everyone, and that light is God in all of us. And then we're all going to settle into some silence. This is a really great time once a week to reflect 
on how the week's going, where you're at, and have that sense of meditation that a lot of schools don't allow you to have. It's time to talk about what we're grateful for today. It's a practice that invites deep listening and reflection. And for children, it's a pause that begins to teach them practices of mindfulness that they carry with them throughout their day. It's a really exciting time to be at Friends right now. There are a lot of changes that have taken place. We have a new kitchen, we have a brand new garden, and we have new leadership. Our leadership has really made it clear how much they want to create an amazing learning experience. I feel really lucky to be able to teach kindergarten here at Friends. This age is so fun. They are learning new and different exciting things every day. There's so much growth happening. And at Friends School, we're able to take the time to foster the social emotional growth as well as the academic. There is a gentleness and a thoughtfulness to everything that we do. There's a feeling of home and there's a feeling of safety and security that not just your children will experience, but you as parents will experience as well.